to the citizens of the world. We are anonymous. The events currently transpiring in Iraq have made us as a collective re-evaluate our priorities in regards to recent operations. The Iraqi people have gone through almost two weeks of sheer terror most of us will never know nor experience. We are held by code of honor to protect those who are defenseless, both in the cyber world and the real world. Before our inception, the Iraq war was well underway and crimes against humanity were rampant. The United States had no small part in this. When the United States government decided to wage an unnecessary war with the promise of oil and funds to the military-industrial complex, it failed to realize the severity of taking out a leader who controlled a strong internal security force. This led to the power vacuum we witnessed after his capture. Thus, Saddam Hussein was ruthless and violent, but with this war, the United States was guilty of the same crimes. Fast forward to today, and Iraq is descending into chaos yet again thanks to the dastardly ruthless gang aiming to establish an Islamic state combining both Iraq and Syria, thus doing away with the post-World War I borders. They call themselves ISIS. These savages who have no religion or morality are bent on burning everything in their path, killing and pillaging as they go. They must be stopped. Several days ago, their electronic division assumed control of one of our Twitter accounts claiming it for themselves and releasing several graphic photos of their assault near Baghdad. These tweets have since been deleted. We sincerely apologize to the Twitter followers who had to witness this without warning. This was an unfortunate, unprecedented takeover and steps have been taken to further secure this account from any future attempted hacks. We would also like to comment on the mainstream media who are pushing the division of Iraqis even further. The Iraqi public is made up of two Islamic sects, Sunnis and Shias. There are also other groups which include Kurds, Turkmen, Assyrians, Christians and others. The media would want us to believe that ISIS is made up of strictly Sunnis and the Iraqi army is a majority controlled and operated Shia faction. This is false. The groups that have been listed, including Sunnis, are enlisted in the Iraqi army and Sunni clerics in Iraq have also called for their followers to join ranks with their Shia brothers to defend their homelands. ISIS is a group made up of the Takfiri sect which is regarded by many prestigious clerics and organizations including Al-Azhar as Unislamic. In fact, they have denounced them as Khawarij and declared that they must be exterminated from Islamic lands. This is why we urge the American mainstream media to stop releasing false information and further escalating the violence with their ignorant journalism. In conclusion, we stand by every righteous being when we say that we have also declared complete solidarity against those who affiliate themselves with ISIS and those who control them. Al Jazeera you have tarnished your reputation by spewing your lies and your treasonous support to ISIS. You will not escape us. To the state of Qatar. Turkey, and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia you will not escape our wrath. Evidence shows your continued support and supply to ISIS. If this does not promptly stop, we will be forced to unleash our entire legion against your pathetic excuse of a cyber security. And to the United States, another attempt at fueling your military industrial complex for the sake of security and democracy will be grounds for our complete assault against your virtual government infrastructure. You have been warned. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.